had a bit of a problem recently. It's not a problem, it's a quandary or a conundrum. And that's regarding switch batteries. But not so much the batteries. I can repair these. It's not a problem. It's the actual operation of them. I repaired a few in the past, just doing the batteries. And I've sent them back to the customers in the hope that they'll work. That's because they haven't got an actual switch bike to test them out on. I've sent it back knowing the battery is okay. But unsure if the controller works or not. And because I don't have a bike to test these out on. I was wondering if I could simulate the conditions of a switch bike or build something. And to that end I've come up with this. This is a test rig that I've put together specifically for doing switch batteries. But this will work with any controller as long as you get the wiring right. <laughs> as long as you get the wiring right I suppose. So what I have is a wheel or a motor off a hoverboard, or more properly known as a balance board I think. I'm hoping that's 36 volts. A cheap function generator or a signal generator. This is going to simulate the pedal assist function, making me some square waves. After doing loads of research online, forums, videos etc. This is what I've come up with. Matching the controller to the motor hasn't been easy. There's about 36 different ways of connecting these up with the hall wires, or the hall wires, the phase wires. These are the hall wires. They don't all come from the same place. show this as an example. Uh, this is a controller that I had, or have. This big connector is supposed to be from the controller hall lines. And it's got that connector. This is the motor hall lines. Different connector. It's different to what's on the switch. Because these use Juliet connectors, Juliet connectors. So there's a lot of creative wiring been going on. Let's give this a go. Just switching the battery on. I think I've connected everything. Uh, this needs to be on. Fully charged pedal assist number two at the moment. So the way this starts is this blue wire, that's the pedal assist sensor going into the controller. This red wire yellow plug coming from the function generator, creating a square wave. Contact. And now I have my own e-bike simulator. Just the speed. I think this motor's unbalance is bouncing on the table. Let's try number three. I've solved the problem of not having a switch bike to test these out on. That's enough. I built this rig specifically because one customer sent me four batteries. And two of them had faulty MOSFETs in the controllers. And 
two of them were okay. The customer said they were experiencing some problems when the batteries were running his bike. So I'm just trying to replicate the faults that he had. That's it for this video. If that was useful, interesting, blah blah blah. You know the score. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, kebab. Thank you.